Hi everybody. Hello. This is going to be a bread day, but not a normal bread day, a low carb bread day, Sharon. Keto. So keto. we're gonna have a go at making some keto rolls, which you can eat if you're on a low carb diet. On a low carb diet, you can't really eat bread because you can't eat wheat because it's very high on the glycemic index, Sharon, isn't it? Mm. And we don't want to know all that complicated stuff because it's uh, a bit boring, to be honest with you. Very me. boring. Don't all want we, to hit here, All we it? need to know is, is that one of the things people crave most of all is bread yeah. when they're eating low carb diets. I do miss toast. Yeah, but there's a special bread or roll that we make. Yeah which we're going to bring to you now, and it's got quite a few ingredients in it, but don't get too phased by that, because it all goes into one pot shell, doesn't yeah. it? So let's show you the ingredients first, and then we'll make these little keto rolls. Here are the ingredients to our low-carb keto rolls. 75 grams of ground almonds, 30 grams of coconut flour, 37 grams of flaxseed meal, 20 grams of psyllium husk, 5 grams of baking powder, 2.5 grams of onion salt, three egg whites, one whole egg, five milliliters of apple cider vinegar, 150 milliliters of warm water, and some sesame seeds or bagel seasoning of your choice. So what do we need? Tip it all in, baby. In the one bowl. We've segregated all the ingredients, folks, so let's get, let's get going. Sharon is on the job. I'm on the job, peeps. Right, well, here we are. We've segregated all our ingredients because they are all different, folks. So uh, where do we start, baby? Well, the almond flour. Right, just whack it in. Coconut flour. Yep. I'm just doing it so it sort of all gets mixed pretty well. Right, that's all the dry ingredients in, folks. So um, she's just giving it a little bit of a mix up now because there are a couple of lumps in there. I suppose you could put it through a sieve, Sharon. Well, baking powder always forms little lumps. Yeah. Right, in with the uh, egg whites. And then the one Holy. complete egg. And she's just bringing it together a little bit before she adds the uh, final ingredients, just to keep things moving. And it will come into a dough, folks, so uh, don't worry about that. And this is the apple cider vinegar. And you can see already that it's getting quite stiff, so water here. And she's not going to add it all in together, Sharon, are you? Nice. So you'll just add it, because will you, will you use all that? I might not actually look in at this now. Right, so you're going by the actual fill of the dough, folks. Yeah. So that's coming together pretty nicely, isn't it? You don't want it too runny, folks, because no. you're going to be putting these on the tray inside the air fryer, because we're all doing this in the air fryer, Sharon, aren't we? Yeah. And you don't want them to just sort of go splodge. So you are looking for quite a substantial ball of dough there. It's still quite... Even I've put all that in, it's still quite dry. Yeah, so she's adding it a bit at a time, not overdoing it. Right, so now she's just put her hands in there and just brought it together, folks, and that's the sort of consistency yeah. you're looking for. It is like a dough, really. And you're probably going to get how many out of that, Sharon? I think we used to get four rolls out of it. If they're not massive rolls. No, but you can flatten them out as well, yeah. can't you? So that's the rolls you're looking for. She's just rolling, breaking it into four and making four rolls, basically, like that. Or you could have just two big rolls, I suppose, if you wanted. Yeah, you? whatever. It's up to you. There they are. There's our four rolls. Right, so we've just got this bagel seasoning. And all we're going to do is literally just put a bit of that on there. Just a little sprinkle of that. That's like little poppy seeds and stuff like that. Just gives it a bit more flavour, doesn't it? Yeah, it just adds a little bit more flavour. Now, when we had these before, before we got the air fryer, we used to cook these in the oven at 180 degrees for 50 minutes. But we're not going to do that. These are quite efficient, these um, mm. air fryers. So what we're going to do, we're going to put them in our Kasuri XXL and we're going to be putting them on for 160, did yeah, you say? Yeah, yeah. Probably for 20 minutes. Yeah. Let's get them in the air fryer. Right, so they're going in the uh, Kasuri XXL. Uh, on it goes, and we're going to put it on for 160. There we go, and we're going to put that on for 20 minutes. And that'll be going on just the basic air fry setting, folks. And off we go. So we'll keep an eye on them, probably halfway. Will we need to turn them or not? Well, we'll know when we look at them. We won't know till we look at them. Yeah. But while we're waiting, there's something I wanted to try. We made a lovely, well, what we luxurious toasted sandwich. Oh, it was wonderful. In the last video, which obviously Sharon had. I didn't have it because I'm not eating carbs at the moment. And uh, a lot of you in the comment section, I think a lot of you uh, Americans come out with, what you want to try is mayonnaise on the outside of the, the toast or the bread or whatever and that gives it a lovely flavour and a lovely taste as well. 
I did mention it to Sharon, she didn't sound too keen on it, but... I'm not a great fan of mayonnaise, that's why. I love mayonnaise, but we have got a slice of bread here, and we've also got some mayonnaise. You think we do both sides, can I ask? Uh, no, just the one side. Well, We're just what? seeing what they said, it's true. They said it gives a lovely flavour to it, so well, I'm just... It's rather thick, isn't it? Well, I, I, it's not all on yet, baby, is it? We just whap it on there. Go right to the edges. A lot of people don't go to the edges, Sharon, do they? And I don't like that. Someone said that uh, whenever their partner don't put uh, puts mayonnaise on, they don't go right to the edges. Well, I love going to the edges, Sharon. So right, leave it like that. So there you go, folks. That's got mayonnaise on. See that? Want some bread with that What's mayonnaise? That right. So we just come over to our ninja, folks. Let's take the tray out and let's get that slice of bread and just sit that in there. And I'm going to put that on. Let's turn it on first. I'm going to put tray two. I'm going to put it on air fry. I'm leaving it on 200 degrees and I'm going to put that on for 10 minutes, shall we? Well, we've only done five minutes for week each side. So yeah, I've we've got to warm up because we ain't pre eating, are we? Right. We'll put it on for, say, seven minutes then, but we will keep an eye on that as well. So press the play button and we'll let that tick away and see what that turns out like. Okay, folks, I did raise the time. It needed seven minutes to do the other side. Then I turned it over for literally just two minutes. So you're gonna be seeing the other side of it first. Let's just take that out now. So that's the other side of it. And the side on the other side is the side with the mayonnaise on. That's come out quite nice actually. Look at that. Let's put it over there. Let's have a little closer look at it. And as you can see, I did it for five minutes like we would normally do, but it weren't quite brown. But for seven minutes, it's actually gone lovely. So there you go. Take a bite of that, Sharon. Let's have a look. Let us know what you think of that. That is mayonnaise, no butter on there whatsoever, just purely mayonnaise. It's okay. It is okay? Yeah. Would you have it again? With a sandwich, just sat inside it, yeah, not just like no, that. No, I mean, obviously, yeah, yeah but you can tell that the uh, it's really cooked nicely, folks, and I did put that on quite thick as well. And it's actually, more so than butter, it's given a, a like a, a, a lovely coating on it. No, it reminds me of... What? Kids play bread, you know, oh, excuse me, when they get their kitchens and they get little... The look of it? Yeah. yeah. it's got like a shiny glaze to it. Go on, have another go, just have another bite, see what you think. Break it in half and go into the middle, into the soft bit. It looks all right, I think it looks all right. Yeah? Mm. There you go. So that is another addition, folks. You Americans were right. The other one was a bit more... Yeah. Uh, Toast and fried bread together, the other, the other yeah. sandwich. Where is this? Right. But it's all right though. But saying that, you only done one side. It could yeah. be if you've done both sides. Yeah, I've only done one side. That's the bread normally, folks, as you but can see. But the crunch isn't there, like the toasted sandwich I done. Right. But that looks all right though. That's something I, I, I probably would try. So I'll give it a go anyway, if you've never tried it before. Rather than butter it on, butter it on the inside and the outside, Try the outside with just mayonnaise. So that's the uh, from the Amer Amer American friends who have said that, Sharon. They come out with some stuff, don't they? Right, so we've got a few more minutes to go and we'll come back to you when the uh, rolls are finished. So we'll see you in a minute. Right, we've just taken them out, folks. There they are, a little, little bit of brown on the top. And just to get the probe, just to show you, get the uh, temperature probe, Sharon. Go in one. And as you can see, let's watch they go up to there, look. See, they're up to about 77, 80 degrees plus in the middle, so they're obviously done. So we're happy with that. So that's how they look. They feel quite dense and quite heavy, but that's that's just the, the make of them sort of thing. I'll tell you what, if what? they're dense and heavy, you'll get full. Hey? <laughs> if they're dense and heavy, it'll fill you up. Right, so let's cut one, well. Let's... Same theory, you could have made two big ones. Yeah, you probably could have done, yeah. But that'll be all right, as I say. You can flatten them down a bit more as yeah. well, Shad, didn't you? Sometimes we flatten them down a bit more, and when we open them up, we toast them on the inside as well, and then we have uh, beans on toast on top, don't we? Yeah. Right, so there they are, folks. And we've cut two of them open, they're still hot. Probably could let them get cool before you actually eat them, but uh, we're a bit impatient, Sharon, aren't we? Oh, we always are, aren't we? And we've actually made up some egg mayonnaise as well. This is what we normally like to do with these, folks. Although you can use them as little rolls, we've made an egg mayonnaise mix up there. So we're going to use them as an open sandwich. So we just dollop quite a bit of that on. Just whack it on, don't be frightened of it. Well, I'll do my one first. Lovely old job. Do you want more tomatoes on yours? No, that's yours. I'll that's do mine. That's mine. I don't want all that. Well, I'll make, I want to put mine slightly different, shall you see? We're all independent. We all do our own thing. That's going to be my one there. I don't like loads of things, do I? So that's Sharon's. 
She does it that way. I'll do it the other way around, folks. I'll show you in a second. What, the tomatoes? Right, now, this is how I do mine. I do mine slightly different than Sharon. I get my cucumber and lay it on first, sort of round it in a circle, look. That way I can get four bits on, you see, look. Like that. And I like to get the egg mayonnaise. And I like plenty of it. So I'm going to whap it on there. Let's put it over there. Look at that, look. Look, all or nothing, folks, all or nothing. Just bring it on there like that. Yeah, that's a lovely little nugget there, look. Put that down there. Get the other one. Over here. Oh, nearly forgot myself then. Look, I've only got two bits for this one, shall I? Look, so I'm just gonna go with two bits in the middle. Whap it on. Okay, let's put them down there for the moment. And then, I can get my little bits of a uh, tomato. And they should embed lovely on the top of that like that, look. There we go. Build them how you like, folks. Build them how you like. You can do it with ham or whatever, anything like that. So pepper. Just dust it on. And this is the old Himalayan pink salt as well. Let's put some of this on. And there we have it. Let's just lay them out nicely for you, folks. Lovely two rolls there. There's Sharon's two, and there's my two. Happy days, let's have a closer look at them. Right, lovely little snack, and don't forget you can take these to work with you folks if you wanna do a pack lunch or whatever. Go on then baby, off you go, in you go. I think she's gonna love it. Go on. Well? Very nice. Tasty? Very tasty, yes. And if you've got a craving for bread, it I will mean, sort it out, not, won't it? They may feel heavy, but they're not heavy. No. Don't worry about that. For, folks, I've got full metal jacket here. I'm fully suited and booted. I'm going in. It could be messy. Yeah. That is absolutely fantastic, folks. And it sorts out your bread craving. They may look small, but use them as an open sandwich. Bulk up there with uh, filling. Egg mayonnaise is a great one if you're on a low carb diet. And that will fill you up. Absolutely lovely. Such a tasty little morsel, baby. It sure is. And don't forget, if you do like our videos, do check out our backlog catalogue where we've got all different playlists for the air fries, for the slow cookers, for the 15 in 1 ninjas, and also our vlogs, which people are starting to really binge watch now. Uh, our Sunday vlogs, which we share our lives with them, Sharon, don't we? So do check them out, have a little binge watch of them, and see what we get up to during the week as well, as well as enjoying our food that we're creating here. A lot of it is low budget stuff, and it's nice and simple. We try to keep it simple, folks and also tasty as well. And if you're on a low carb diet as well, as we are at the moment, happy days. But don't forget, also try out that mayonnaise on the uh, bread. If you're doing the toasted sandwich, give it a go, see what you think. That come from our American cousins across the pond. It's a big pond, isn't it? And I can't swim, Sharon. <laughs> you're not gonna go visit them, are you? We'll see you in the next video, <laughs> folks. Until then, bye. bye for now.